Flair's Toronto localist at large, rather, Gracie Carroll, is also back with the other hot accessories on top of the fanny pack. So should we start with the fanny pack or get to it later? We'll save it for later. Um, we'll start with something re some really exciting news is that uh, Shinola from Detroit has opened up in Toronto. This is the first wow. store in Canada. And that. it is a huge, gorgeous new store at the corner of Queen and Ossington, 1000 Queen West. And they're really known for their amazing leather goods. They make watches, as you can see. They even make bicycles. And everything is manufactured in the USA. Beautiful so, boxes. You would want to save that and put, you know, jewelry in and maybe take out the packaging after you're done with it. Definitely. If you're looking to treat yourself with like a new bag or a watch or definitely for gifts uh, with purchase for their leather goods, you can also have things monogrammed. So that's really cool. Right in store. And nice weight to those watches. They're stunning. Really nice weight. Again, they're really bringing back having things made in the U.S. that are of high quality and bringing those jobs back, which yeah. I think is really, really cool. Me too. So it's a great addition to the Queen West trip. We're hearing so much about charcoal. We just featured a drink with charcoal that's supposed to help you detox. And now, go figure, also for deodorant, which I'm very happy you brought today because I would just happen to sweat <laughs> quite a bit during some bubble There's soccer. There's a few segment. you can try. Okay. Uh, yeah, charcoal definitely is like the hottest new natural beauty product. I mean, it's amazing. It's great for your skin, your body. You can even use it to whiten your teeth, as I was saying earlier. So this is Kaya Naturals. They've just come out with these deodorants, and I'm really into natural deodorant, but it, it, it can be hard to find a good one. It has to work. It has to work. Um, I don't love applying them from tubs, so I really like that this one is in a stick form. And you can see, I mean, it does have a darker pigment because of the charcoal, but that doesn't mean that it'll stain your clothes. It goes on clear. Well, and you know when you have the white deodorant and you're wearing a darker dress and you don't want that stain, yeah. this might be the opposite effect. It, it goes on clear. So it's interesting to note, though, with the charcoal, there is like a, it is a detox deodorant, as they call it. Um, and so there is like different detox stages. So you might actually sweat more for a little bit because the charcoal's pulling out all of the bacteria Toxin. in your body and your toxins. And then after it adjusts, then, then it will be great. But does it mask the scent? It does mask the scent. Um, I mean, the rose one is my favorite. It smells gorgeous. Um, there's a lemon lime, which uh, mint, sorry. A lime mint, which smells nice. And this is like a yeah, lemon bamboo. There's a citrus and then the mint. They're really, really nice. So. Awesome. Now the fanny pack. Yes. They're so pretty. <laughs> um, this, these are by Ella, one of my favorite Toronto-based uh, bag brands. I have so many of her bags. And these are in the new issue. You can wear them around your waist. I think they're great for the city when you're running around. Also, music festivals coming up. You want your hands free. Something that's really cool about these is that the strap is actually removable, so you can also wear it as a clutch. I love it. So if you're traveling as well, you don't want to have too many things. You know, that's something that's really versatile, which I think is cool. Beautiful. And they're $1.95 each, so really affordable, especially when you get like a two-in-one bag. I want these t-shirts for myself, like an adult. <laughs> do they come in adult they sizes? They do. I just have the cute, oh, cute shoot. baby pieces here, but Muttonhead does have unisex clothing. And they've just opened their second location in the beaches. I think it's 21, 24. Queen Street East. They have a store uh, on Ronsi's as well, but everything they make is made in Toronto. All of the brands they carry are either made in Canada or the U.S. I'm really into this sort of beer holder for camping or, oh, again, yeah. music Look festival camping. Fancy. That's so pretty. Yeah, so if you're in the east side of the beach, definitely check out their new store. And when you're heading to the beach, you need the latest and greatest in swimwear. You, this is awesome. You definitely do. I love this new collection. It's from Tech Shop Co., which is in Summer Hill. And this is their first ever bathing suit collection that they've collaborated with Bather to create. So they're all made in Toronto. Really great quality. Yeah. I love the sort of matte print. I think is really cool and fantastic if you're traveling this summer. I could just hear the pickup lines, like, where's the street to your house? Yeah. You look hot. <laughs> Gotta be prepared for that. Suit. <laughs> but, um, they're great quality, excellent pieces, and so fantastic that they're made in Toronto. Well done, Gracie. Check out Flair's August issue available now on Texture by Next Issue. And for more, just go to Twitter at Gracie Carroll. Follow her. You always have such awesome pics. Also, at Flair Fashion for more information to stay on trend and see what's current and new. I see that you just recently discovered a pizza restaurant, which I also <laughs> love. Check out her Instagram account for that one. More VT right after this.